Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Anthony Patton back with another one. And in this video, I want to talk about the Amazon servers, uh, Twilio, you know, focusing on what you can control. I want to talk about placement. We're going to talk about social security getting increased for the year 2023. And we're going to talk about a couple other things in this video as well. So let's hop right into it. I adopted a formula, 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 formula. All right, so the first thing is uh, a lot of you guys who are doing telesales right now have probably noticed that Twilio and some of the Amazon services um, that exist for dialing out stuff like CRMs, you know, quoters and things of that nature have recently crashed. Like they've really gone to sh and everything's pretty much out of your control. There wasn't much that we could do about it. Go and figure out what you can do, what is in your control. So my team and I really went over our standard operating procedures. We kind of tightened up our SOPs, you know, dropped a little bit more training for our employees and tightened up some of those loose bolts that we had in our company, right? Um, you know, Twilio is technology and technology is never perfect, right? Same thing goes with all these other servers and stuff like that. Jumping ahead into 2023, the cost of living has gone up. So the COLA, has uh that's the cost of living right Ad adjusted has announced that they're going to give uh seniors and you know eligible families an 8.7 increase in those you know benefits and that's great for uh them and that's also great for us as well right life insurance agents as well one of the things that we can do to help these folks out is reach back out right hop on that phone and anybody who has a policy that's say $10,000 and less, you wanna go and do a policy re review with them, right? Why? For one of two reasons. The first reason is the cost of living has rised, which means the cost of funeral and burial arrangements are gonna go up as well, okay? So that presents an opportunity for you to make sure that their loved ones aren't gonna be burdened when that time comes, right? So you wanna increase these plans. You guys wanna make sure that they have enough coverage. The second thing is they have an extra, you know, couple of dollars to invest in, in a little bit more coverage. So just have that mindset going into 2023. And this change is gonna take effect on December 30th. I believe they're gonna roll out, uh, you know, extra help on December 30th of 2022. There is a huge discrepancy between agents who are writing business versus the amount of money that gets paid out to that agent. Now there's one of many different reasons why this could be, right? Either the agent is just spreading their business too thin. So when agents come to me and I consult with them and they ask me, well, how many carriers would you recommend I go with? And I say, hey, anywhere between four to five carriers you should probably stick with because any more than that, you're gonna spread yourself thin. These are the agents I'm talking about who are experiencing chargebacks and they are you know, maybe a little bit negative uh, with these carriers because their placement rates aren't where they need to be okay so make sure that you are using your core carriers stick with four maybe five carriers at the most right so have two good GI carriers I usually lead with the GTL for graded which is almost guaranteed issue and have your two main level carriers that you're gonna write your level business with right and that's gonna help you guys do a lot of things it's gonna help you guys qualify for these incentives, qualify for these trips. It's gonna streamline the process for your book of business and it's gonna give you guys the confidence that you need that you're gonna write this piece of business and get paid on it as well, okay? Now, another thing that you can do to increase these placement rates is take advantage of these tools that are available to us like FEX Toolkits and Best Plan Pro. I personally use F FEX Toolkits, right? The guy, Joe Wall, he's innovative, right? He's always updating that system and he has DHV, um, he has Medicare, right? And he's even building out a CRM and I heard he's gonna do some kind of lead generation, which will be cool to look at um, and maybe, you know, test it out. But other than that, guys, make sure you guys tune in. Every week I'm dropping videos like this. Like it, comment, hit the notifications bell or don't, but leave some feedback. Let me know what you guys need help with and uh, till next time, peace out. I adopted a formula, formula.